we have the colors we're gonna use the rest of this cheap yarn hopefully it's enough how about we just get into it I need to go into my toolbox very quickly and find a tool. I'm gonna use this one. I think I'm gonna start with this color. Actually, I'm a liar. If you're here from my last video, you know exactly what the fuck is going on, but if you're not, let me fill you in. I tried to make pants, crochet pants for the first time. I made it way too small for it to be two pant legs, so I just turned it into a skirt. It's a bit see-through, but I still think it's super cute. Since this is my official first time making pants we're gonna use some cheap yarn if I mess up it's okay where is the hook if you haven't met guaco this is guaco oh I'm sorry babe and he's never been properly introduced YouTube say hello to my wonderful lizard isn't he precious he's about two years old this is my son I can't even count how many people have told me, oh, you don't need that much space. Are you being held captive by a human against your will? I didn't think so. Let me just show you. That big ass tank and that big ass tank. It's so worth it. If you're gonna keep them for 10 years, 15 years, and they're stuck in a little box that whole time, it's just like, come on. Okay, really quick. I'm gonna tell you the story of how I got him. I was at PetSmart and I decided impulsively that I was gonna get a bearded dragon. I had no idea what I was gonna get myself into, but I did. It was irresponsible. It was a learning process, but he's in good hands, don't worry. So the lady gets him out of the tank and then I sign the paperwork. She goes, oh, well, he'll just be at the register. You just have to pay first. I got all the supplies, went to the register, paid for all of that, and I noticed that the total wasn't really that much. I think I paid under $100, and then the lizard itself was $100, or very close to it. So, <laughs> for legal reasons, this is all a joke. This isn't real. I'm. This is for entertainment purposes. I checked out, and then my sister behind me is like, didn't you get the lizard? And I'm like, we check out and I'm like, yeah, bye. And then I go up to the lady and I'm like, hi, do you have the lizard? And she sees me with the bag and she sees me with my receipt and she puts the lizard on a register that is closed and there's only one register open. And I'm like, wow, I don't know why she did that. And she's like, oh yeah. And then she goes over and hands me the lizard and then I walk out with the lizard. So that's how we met. What are you doing? Another quick guaco story. One time I was laying on my stomach, feet kicked up, lizard running around, on the phone. This motherfucker comes up and sits on my back. <sighs> A couple minutes later, he takes the meanest shit on my back. When I say it's a mean shit, it wasn't easy to clean up at all. It was wet, it was gross, absorbing all in my white shorts. You know, I'm used to all the shit and stuff. Been in the mom game for a while. I've babysat kids. It's nothing. So I literally crawled out of my bed and I was like, like this, balancing the shit on my back. It's terrible. Okay, this is day one progress. <laughs> it's not looking so fantabulous. It's okay, trust the process, guys. I'm about to get ready to go to sleep. It doesn't have to be a hot mess. It's literally just the beginning. Good morning! Before I continue the pants, I kind of wanted to show you guys what I'm thinking about dropping on my website soon. Definitely the skirt that I made yesterday. The skirt, this tutu. This was so fun to make. I really hope somebody wants to wear this. But I just won't wear it, so somebody take it off my hand. Oh my god, I almost don't want to sell this shirt because I love the way it looks on me. I, I feel like somebody deserves to wear this and feel as good as I feel in this shirt. It's a halter top with the bow. And then I have this tank top, but I want to make it a tube top. Branny square shirt. I love the material of this one. It's so plush. The colors are giving sorbet. It's a large bag. I'm almost debating on making this a piece of clothing. But honestly, the bag is still super cute. Oh my god, I love this piece so much. 
and I'm like almost not ready to get rid of it. Just take it, just take it. I've heard it so many times, like don't undercharge yourself, like your stuff is too cheap, but like I have so much to learn. Obviously I'm not perfect, right? I'm not looking to be the best of the best, super perfect. I feel like these projects are my experiments, but maybe nobody will buy it, so who cares? I just kind of want you guys to have things that I make. Okay guys, this is the progress that I've made switched over to the next color because I ran out of this color. I am gonna go pack this up because I'm about to leave to go to meet up with my boyfriend so we can work on some content and stuff like that. What is this? Is this day three working on this? I think I'm just not enthusiastic about this because I kind of hate the yarn. Bear with me guys, but I'm kind of lost here. I've been thinking about the drop a lot, like my crochet drop. If I don't end up making any money from it, what if I just went to Plato's closet and like see if I could like make $10 off of my stuff? I feel like anything helps. Maybe I'm being a little insane right now. Why would I drop my crochet art off at Plato's closet? Maybe I'm getting a little lost in the sauce here. Definitely getting lost in the sauce. Okay, now that I think about it, these pants are just gonna be another thing that I need to get rid of. What am I doing? Crintily is learning her skills and I'm using cheap yarn, so it's okay. And now we're gonna connect it and it's gonna start being a pant. You know, I kind of do have a good feeling about this. Okay, we made it to the other side of the road. We're making smoothies. We have a pretty questionable mix here today. Earlier, I cut up a cantaloupe and blueberries because that's the only other fruit that I have. We're using oat milk. Oops. Whoa, what is this taste? This is the best creation of a smoothie that I've ever made. Next time you make yourself a smoothie, if ever, make yourself a blueberry cantaloupe smoothie. I'm gonna put some ice in it. I'm gonna hide it from myself. <laughs> what is wrong with me? So fucking good. My mom's friend, we're like her goodwill, and she dropped off this vest. After going to the Netherlands, I saw so many people with vests, and I was like, damn, I need a vest. I think it's safe to say that this is my new favorite thing ever. This is just a sign that life is good, because we have this now, and we also have this. Call me a camper, because I'm happy. My mom just came in here and was like, here, try this on, it doesn't fit me. I was like, who's it from? She's like, Deb. Deb's been kind of killing it with the clothes, guys. You know, with some accessories, I could really fuck the club up with this. It's a romper. It is the next day. And I have to say that I made a good amount of progress, but I also have to say that this wrist pain is no joke. I was low-key on like a crochet hiatus, and before I did that, my wrist was hurting like crazy. Everything I did, my wrist hurt. And that was the time where I realized that this could actually be a serious problem. I was crocheting yesterday, and I started to feel just a little bit of that pain. I was like, nope, we're not doing it. It's not worth it. But it's actually starting to look like something. Okay, maybe I'm getting a little excited. I literally just pulled this out of the depths of my yarn stash and there's dust flying everywhere right now. I do not want to have wrist problems because it's one thing when your wrist is just sore from crocheting, but it's another thing when you're going about your everyday life and your wrist hurts. You pick something up and your wrist hurts. You're scrolling on your phone and your wrist hurts. It's gonna be a big hard no for me. Look at how long it's gotten. It's long. And I feel like if I haven't switched up my technique of crocheting, my wrist would be on fire right now. My grandmother's cleaning lady, she gave a bunch of yarn to me. When she came over, we were crocheting together. And then she told me the way I'm doing it, I usually do it overhand instead of like holding it like a pencil. And she says, if I hold it like a pencil, I'm gonna get tighter stitches. I don't feel any wrist pain. Here are the pants so far. I'm literally gonna deep clean my room right now just because I do not feel good in here. So, let's do it.
Okay, days later, I need you guys to imagine Ren with a question mark over her head. That's me. Hi guys, I'm Ren. There's a big fucking question mark over my head because I can say that I finished the pans and I wasn't gonna record the rest of the process because it kind of felt pointless, like updating you guys. But just know it's done. Is it good though? I have no fucking clue. That's the explanation of the question mark. Look at these colors. Okay, before I show you guys, one of the legs is tighter than the other leg. The waist is really big and the crotch of the pants sits so fucking low. I'm not even gonna try this on for you guys because I have a model specifically for these pants and I'm afraid. All right, this is what they're looking like. Some things that I make, they fit in a way where I didn't intend them to fit that way, but it's like, oh shit, this is a look. They didn't go as planned, but they could be a plan. Enough chit chat, let's just, let's wrap it up. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Here's the final reveal. They look cool. You see, that one is so much tighter. No, no. Okay, I'm thinking this one is a miss, guys. It's a miss. But they're cool, though. That's the problem. They're, they're actually cool. cool. Like, they look cool as fuck. First pair of pants, guys. I'm honestly not mad at it. Now I know that I could do better. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, Thanks for listening to my story about my lizard. It's like a lot of the cool designers are doing it. It's called, um, it's called a crook look. And basically what it is is like... One leg is just a little bit tighter around the thigh, <laughs> and it's just really cool, especially from the side profile. It's like kind of like swinging 60s, but then you see it from this side, and it's kind of just like chilling, like sweatpants vibe. But then when it's over here, it's very tight, it hugs the figure a lot. It just kind of, you know, like makes people look at you crooked or makes people look at you a second time. And shout out to Ren for, you know, <laughs> kind of diving in and going to the new frontier when. <gasps> Nobody really knows if it's gonna work yet. This is gonna be a staple of the crook look trend right now. Me personally, I'm like thinking, I'm like, I'm not sure if it feels like something that is kind of like is my cup of tea, but I'm sure that there's gonna be a group of cool kids out there that are like, we need crook looks. And your girl Crentley, she is honestly a master of this shit because I don't think I've seen a better crook look. I've tried on crook looks at the store before, and every time I was like, what fucking idiot would wear this? But this shit is actually like, <laughs> it's pretty nice. Let me just say, crochet pants. They feel like... <laughs>